Hi friends, today I'm reading Sophie Makes a Choice by Dr. Becky Bailey. This is another book from our uh, social emotional curriculum, Conscious Discipline. Okay. Sophie's mom. is helping Sophie get dressed. Sorry, it's hard for Ms. Kara to find where to put the pages. <laughs> here are the picture. Mom says, you have a choice. You can wear the green shirt or the purple shirt. Which is better for you? Sophie points to the purple shirt. Which shirt would you pick? You think I would pick purple? Mom celebrates. You did it. You picked the purple shirt. Good for you. Sophie holds her arms up, up, up to be helpful. Mom slips the shirt down, down, down over Sophie's head. Next, it is time for shoes. Mom asks, would you like to wear your sandals or your sneakers? Sophie chooses sandals. Then she puts on her sandals all by herself. Mom smiles. You did it. You put on your purple shirt and your sandals. Now you are all dressed. The end. So when it's time to do things like pick out a snack or pick out clothes or something to do. Providing choices is very important for your children. So today I want you all to make some choices and give each other choices of things to do. All right, so here's our book. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Hi boys and girls, we're gonna do um, one of our social emotional stories today. So here's our picture, got three friends. The little girl in the middle, her name is Bethany. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna hold up the picture and I'm gonna read to you, okay? This is Bethany, she is at the Play-Doh table. She is having fun making little animals. Bethany notices her friend Shin, that's this boy, or oh, sorry, that's this boy over here. Okay. Standing near, yeah, bye. He is watching the children at the play do, do table. There's room at the table for Shin. Should Bethany invite Shin to play? What do you think Bethany could say to invite him to join the children at the play do table? So we think he, she should invite him, right? That's the nice, friendly thing to do. What could she say to invite him to come over? She could say, would you like to make Play-Doh animals with me? Or come and join us. If you had a similar idea, pat one shoulder. Bethany decides to ask Shin to come play with the Play-Doh. In a friendly voice, Bethany says, Want to make some Play-Doh animals too? See the funny one I made? Come join us. How do you think Shin might feel if he is invited to join the Play-Doh activity? Hmm. How do you think he would feel if she invited him to play? Because right now, does he feel very happy? No, but if she invites him to come play, Maybe he would feel happy. What do you guys think? If you think that he would be happy or welcomed or even feel included, you can raise your hand like this. Okay, good job, you guys. Shin joins the Play-Doh activity. Bethany is happy. She invited him to join. Everyone laughs and smiles. They have fun making little animals. Inviting others to play helps everyone feel part of our class. It's also a way to make friends. Now, right now, we're not allowed to be with our friends because we have to stay home with our family to stay safe. 
So I want you to try to include your family in what you're doing, okay? So ask nicely um, to make them feel included and wanted, okay? Have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon. Bye.